Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to our channel. If you are seeing the first time of our channel, please subscribe. Completed our first chapter that is atomic structure and next we are entering into our classification of elements and periodicity in property. Let's quickly jump into this chapter and let's know more about the classification of elements and periodicity in properties. Earlier classes I think in 9th or 10th we studied about classification of elements the periodic table. So let's revise that uh, some important points which we learned in earlier classes. This classification of elements and periodicity in properties chapter we will study the historical development of the periodic table. As it stands today and modern periodic table law, we will also learn how the periodic classification follows as a logical consequence of electronic configuration atoms. Finally, we shall examine some of the periodic trends in the physical and chemical properties of the elements in this chapter. Here we are seeing some introduction about the elements of the periodic table. So, in earlier days, elements were classified as metals, non-metals and metalloids. Metalloids means they show both metallic properties as well as non-metallic properties. So, the above classification of not given clear information about the properties of elements. So, as in today, 118 elements are discovered. And the research is going on for few more elements discovery. So to understand properties of elements, scientists try to classify the elements. Okay, scientists observe that some elements show similar properties. Based on the scientists started classifying the elements. Here, do you know among 118 elements, 84 elements are naturally occurring elements 34 elements are synthetic that means man-made around or more than 80 elements or exist in pure isotopic form that means one element shows different mass number that's it uh, today introduction of the classification of elements periodicity another interesting question is what is the necessity of classification elements why do we need to classify elements? So the answer is, it is very difficult to study the properties of elements individually. As every element forms numerous compounds. So scientists observe that even though every element forms numerous compounds, they have a similar properties with each other in terms of their chemical behavior or chemical nature. Okay. This is uh, the answer why we need to classify elements. So let's see how the earlier scientists classified elements. In which type they classified the elements. Let's go for that video. Genesis of periodic classification. Classification of elements into groups and development of periodic law and periodic table or the consequences of systematic the knowledge gained by a number of scientists through their observations and ex experiments. The German scientist John Dobernier. Dobernier, he given a law that is Dobernier's law of trites in early 1800s was the first to consider the idea of trends among properties of elements. What is this law tells means based on atomic weights elements are classified. Atomic weight is the only property of element known at that time. Do you understand? The elements are classified by their atomic weight. Atomic weight. Statement of Dobernier trine means here trine means three elements when three elements which are having similar properties are arranged in ascending order that means low to high they fall into a group 
in which the atomic weight of middle element is the average of first and third element. I will show you in easiest method to understand this law. So here we are seeing a table. So that is a group A elements of their atomic weight that means traits three elements arithmetic mean. So what is this the statement of the law means? We kept the elements, three elements in ascending order. That means low to high with their atomic weight. 7.0 lithium, sodium 23.0, K that means potassium 39.0. When we mean the first element and third element, we get the value of middle element. That means which atomic weight of Middle element is the average of first and third element. That means 7.0 plus 39.0 by 2 equal to 23.0. So here we are seeing some more examples. Calcium, Shontium, Barium, Cl, B or I, S, Sc, T. So this is what approximate values they get with their atomic weights. Um, MN, CR, FE, again we get somewhat approximate number we get, nearly number we get, okay. So note of Daubernier means, Daubernier classified the element by relating properties of elements with atomic weights. At that time atomic weight is the only property which they know, the scientists all are known properties atomic weight. So this idea gave scientists to classify the elements based on atomic weights and properties of the elements. So this is the success of Daubernier but somewhat drawbacks also there that means limitations or failures also there of the Daubernier's experiments and observations. So the first drawback is all the known elements at the time could not be arranged in the form of traits okay the law failed for very low mass or very high mass elements that means for example f c l b r when we see the when we calculate the arithmetic mean of first and third element we didn't get the, the number the atomic weight of middle element as the techniques improved for measuring atomic masses accurately the law was unable to remain strictly valid so this is all about Daubernier's experimentations and observations the first reported attempt to classify elements was made by a French geologist A.E.B. D. Cancotes in 1862 so he arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic weights to display and made a cylindrical table of elements to display the periodic recurrence of properties. This also was somewhat not attract much attention. So the next, the English chemist John Alexander Newlands in 1865. John Alexander Newlands in 1865 profounded the law of octaves. He arranged the elements in increasing order of their atomic weights. So when elements are arranged as a group in the form of ascending order with their atomic weights Every eighth element repeats the similar properties as first element. This is what law of octaves. Here octaves means eight. Here I am showing the table of law of octaves. I, I was trying to give one explanation. How every eighth element repeats the similar properties as first element. When you see here hydrogen. Okay. He kept in a group sway in the form of ascending order by their atomic weights. Here there is a hydrogen. So when you count 1, 2, 3, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो दिस हाइड्रोजन एंड दिस एफ शोज सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो दिस इज वॉट हाउ ही क्लासिफाइड द एलिमेंट्स द रिलेशनशिप वॉज जस्ट लाइक एवरी एट नोट दट रेसेंबल्स द फर्स्ट इन ऑक्टेव्स ऑफ म्यूजिक न्यू न्यू लैंड लॉ ऑफ ऑक्टेव सीम टू बी ट्रू only for elements up to calcium so okay another interesting thing what means john alexander new launch was the first person to use atomic numbers for the elements in earlier scientists dobernier's geologist aeb de concorters all of these all of their use atomic weights to the elements but new lands use atomic numbers for the elements we have also some drawbacks of new lands of octaves the classification was not applicable to all elements available at that time which are present at that time uh, the classification was not applicable he kept two elements at the same place this classification is only applicable for the elements up to calcium this law was not valid for higher atomic masses elements this classification was restricted to only 56 elements and did not leave any room for new elements that were discovered later that means he didn't give a space for new elements which was discovered later so new lands try to link periodicity that means repetition of properties of chemical properties of elements with the periodicity found in elements in a musical way very interesting thing that is like a sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa so when you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that means here we are seeing octaves the first element shows a similar property of the eighth element that means sa sa according to newland the properties of elements are repeating at every eighth element like seven music tones no 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay sorry seven sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa that means here also sa when you add sa it is octaves it shows octaves so this is what newland classified the elements so although his idea was not widely accepted at that time he for his work was later awarded davy medal in 1887 by the royal society london first scientist mendeleev the periodic law as we know it today owes it developed to the russian chemist that means dmitri mendeleev and the german chemist Lothar Mayer working independently both the chemists in 1869 proposed that on arranging the elements increasing order of their atomic weights with their increasing order of atomic weights similarities appear in physical and chemical at regular intervals so lothar mayer plotted the physical properties such as atomic volume melting point and boiling point against atomic weight and obtained a periodically repeated pattern okay so mendeleev's periodic table his statement was the properties maybe it is physical and chemical of the elements or periodic function of their atomic weights this is called mendeleev's periodic law so what is the, what are the highlights of periodic law means he arranged the elements into eight groups on seven periods groups means eight groups seven periods so groups means verticals periods means horizontals so based on the ascending order of the atomic weights i am here trying to draw groups and periods this is what rough diagram i am showing you so each group 
that means vertical group is subdivided into a b the elements of similar properties in a group the elements of different properties in a period okay he believed that the new elements would discovered in later years and he had given space and he had given a scope to appropriate places to fill in his periodic table he predicted the properties of new elements which were discovered on later he named such elements with eka how great he is he given a scope for discovered elements he given space in his periodic table that is the first important point and he also predicted how surprise he also predicted the properties of elements new elements which are discovered on later he named such elements with eka eka boron that is scandium nowadays eka aluminum gallium eka silicon germanium he collected several atomic weights of elements he collected beryllium whose atomic weight was given is uh, as a 13.5 at that time there is no uh, no what means there at that time there is no machines no calculators to measure the atomic weights of elements so he collected beryllium whose atomic weight was given 13.5u as by mendeley 4.5 into 2 9u so he corrected the beryllium atomic weight also here i am showing you mendeley's periodic table how he arranged so even to mendeley's periodic table could give better classification compared to earlier classifications that means uh, dobernius uh, of newlands octaves it is earlier the classification secure better classification it do have some limitations also he kept two different types of elements in one group he kept a set of three elements in group 8 and 4 to 6th periods he arranged some elements with more atomic weights followed by lower atomic weights this is what some limitations of mendeley's periodic table so in the next part 2 we study we know about periodic that is modern periodic table so it's to be continue let's wait for the another video bye bye take care